So 13 years ago, I walked into the Australian bush with no intention of coming back. I'd burned the candle at both ends and tipped myself into a spiral of depression that took a long time to lift. I came home to Tullamore and began writing again, and with unbelievable love and support from my family and friends. I just ask you in these days to mind each other. We don't always get second chances, but second chances happen. They're always there. So reach out and tell that person how you feel. Ask that person you might have a worry about out for a coffee and a chat. This poem is for the family and friends who helped me, for the woman who loves me, and the children who would, if I'd done what I'd set out to do, I'd have never known. This is called Lost and Found. In a days gone by, I wandered off, so lonely in a cloud. The seasons came and reason left me hollow as a shroud. I roamed the vast and seamless hills, bereft of mind and logic, heading east in circles, with hungry skiers and geographic. I'd had enough, and sure all the old stuff had had enough of me. On my darkest days, a blinding sun still found me through the trees. The hole was deep, no wholesome steep could dreams with ease or raise. To a broken head, my spirit led, my brothers to embrace. I awoke one morn, just past the dawn, unsure of plain habitual. In heart's despair, I grasped around for some semblance sense of ritual. And I had forgot, of all the things, the light of those around me, that childhood sense benevolence of those who cared to ground me, the few and far unseen apart, yet I felt their guidance solely, that these fractured lessons of my youth could lead to something holy. And that blackness, the clouds impact us as I lost sight of the shore, the fault lay deep inside where I keep my thoughts and nothing more. Speak forth, but don't resort to bottles real or metaphoric, for life has taught me living's fraught with consequence and orbit. And now, these days, the path is clear, each step with purpose paved. Its soft intent, the loving bent of my lineage has me saved. Please, stop to think, but don't stop long, for seconds turn to years. The class A diet, yes, I tried it, multiplied with beers. And my figment's pigment grew malignant, ignorant and indignant that blew proportions into oceans deep and vast malevolent. And forget not the ones who passed before your seed had grown. When you were lost, connections crossed and half your fuses blown. Some paths will lead to wrath and seething, and joy has long since flown. Just pause and try to feel the sun and find the trail to home. When my daughter was uh, young, she was only six months old, she was quite sick. We spent a long time in Crumlin Hospital. And despite the best efforts of the doctors and specialists there, none of them could get to the bottom of, of what was wrong with her. And it's, it's probably the most helpless I've ever felt as a human being. And when you have six kids, if your children are sick, it's it really is the most helpless feeling, and the most helpless feeling in the whole world. Looking down at them, not being able to do anything for them, and and there's you would do anything for your kids or try anything or, and after maybe four months, we were allowed home for a little while. I would test to see how she would get on, and and my mom took us to see a healer, a man in. in in Mount Rath, Mount, Mount Rath and Leash by the name of Jimmy Conroy and they have a, a, a gift in their family and people come from everywhere from all over Ireland to, to see this guy and he heals people and it was an amazing thing and you know the doctors in the hospital couldn't get their heads around it or you know, we just never didn't bother to tell them really what, where we'd gone with her, but just we were just so delighted that she was better and that she was healthy and, and coming back to herself again. And uh, this is called The Healer. We had for months endured the stress of hospitals and endless tests, of bloods and marrows being extracted, a diagnosis sought, exacted. 
Experts and consultants hummed upon their foreheads, fingers drummed, her enigmatic symptoms stumped, nuanced drugs and theories stumped. Professors and the doctors mused, conclusions drawn but not enthused, discharged when her fever passed, from our wee room of tempered glass. And so home we went to Tullamore, to mind this little ward of ours. And my mother knew, as mothers do, when science failed to call on you. In my own head, the ticking clock chimed time to think outside the box. So early on an autumn dawn, we parked our car beside his lawn, and nor were we the first in line, such queues of people to the shrine. I bide along on simple paths, on Schlieve Bloom Hills, outside Mount Rath. And once inside, the man himself picked Tess up like fragile dove, examined her with care and thought both human traits that can't be bought. And he firmly rubbed her on her side, saying sorry for her whimpered cries. I hush there now, my little one. It's nearly over, almost done. Above your kidneys, glands are blocked. They're moving now, I've them unlocked. So ease your crying, dry your tears. This must have been hell on your ears. These points that I've rubbed for you are directly connected to those organs that you need for hearing. And these stagnant nodes were interfering. With your belly and with your gut, those openings were tightly shut. So fear not granny, and fear not dad, there have been dark days that you've had, but calm yourselves, that bridge is crossed, no need to feel that you are lost, and from tomorrow wait and see, she'll start eating heartily. So take that tube out of her nose and stick her back into her clothes and worry not, she'll be alright, sleep like a log for you tonight. And just like that, this quiet man, his massive gnarled and healing hands had brought the skeptic's heart to light, and I knew then my mam was right. That there's things in life we must accept to wander on this wondrous earth, that you will come and you will go a speck amidst the cosmic flow, and technology has made us blind to the wonder of our humankind. When heaven works through human hands, what knowledge fails to understand is that all the drops of wisdom gleaned are just drops of water in the stream that comes from a source that's higher up than we perceive in our minds through these optic cups. So accept this miracle, this gift, and welcome to the conscious shift. And my child is cured, and not by those consultants in their fancy clothes, nor physicians lettered names on plaques, nor scientists bent on proving facts. And a simple man with an open heart took my reality apart, proved seeking knowledge couldn't match, belief surpassed the surface scratched. My daughter's life I owe to him, whom I first called upon a whim.